how have you been? I'm fine. You're looking well. What's with the sudden... Wait, that communication code. Are you on this planet? Yeah, we just arrived. They made us wait quite a while during entry. It was hard trying to calm down Junior. Junior's with you? Then... Yeah, we're all here. We came on the Durandal. The Durandal? That's unusual for you. What happened to the Elsa? Um... Chaos? Actually, that's what I need to talk to you about. Hmm? Do you have some free time right now? Huh? Sure. But is something wrong? I'll head there now. Where do you want to meet? How about the cafe near the Mobius Hotel? Okay. See you soon, then. <coughs> Commodore Jose Xavier, commander of the Andras fleet, assigned to the Galaxy Federation Gedalia region, declared that his fleet had engaged with the Ormus fleet in the region. It appears that upon receiving this information, the Ormus fleet occupying planet Mictum commenced military action towards the Federation fleet in the region. The Andras fleet was sent to investigate an asteroid that was recently discovered in the Gedalia region. For days now, the Andras fleet has been locked in a stalemate with the Ormus fleet, which claims ownership of the asteroid. At present, it is unclear why Ormus has dispatched a fleet to Gedalia space which is under Federation control. A spokesman for Ormus has stated that they have no desire for combat, it is believed that the Ormus fleet commenced military action after several of its requests to the Andres fleet to leave the region were ignored. The Elsa's missing? We set out to investigate a floating object at the request of the subcommittee. But the UMN in that region of space suddenly shifted. We think they probably fell into an imaginary pocket. So what happened to everyone? Are they okay? External communication's been cut off. We don't know what's going on inside. I see. Unfortunately, I can't be of much help. You probably already know this, but I quit my job at Vector. Yeah, I heard from Jin. I'll try contacting Alan, but it sounds like Cosmos may be mixed up in something else. Ah, uh, don't worry about it too much. Junior said it wouldn't hurt to ask. Anyway, I just wanted to let you in on what's going on. Sorry, I can't be of more help. Due to the acceleration of the Gnosis phenomenon, 
The Galaxy Federation government has issued an evacuation order to planetary governments in the outlying area. The Federation government has issued a statement that the Gnosis phenomenon that occurred last month in Ogdua space has resulted in the disappearance of over 100 planetary governments in that region. The Galaxy Federation government has established an emergency task force and deployed eggs to the regions in question but it is believed that it has not resulted in the reduction of the phenomenon. There are more incidents like this happening these days. Jin's still on it, isn't he? Yes, he's on the Durandal right now, helping out with the Elsa's rescue. I see. Are you worried? Well, maybe a little, but it's not like he'd listen to me. Xion, are you alright? You look pale. Oh, I'm fine. I've just been a little tired lately. Xion! waves. She on? What? Is it calling me? Where are you? Who's calling me? She on. A word to define an individual. Are you she on? That's right. I'm Shion. Who are you? Hotel? Oh, that's right. I met up with Chaos, and then I started feeling sick. Chaos must have carried me here. I'll have to apologize later. Oh, it's you, Alan. Chief, what happened? I've been calling you for a while. Calling me? Did something happen? That's what I want to know. Please tell me you're okay. What? Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, the demonstration! Don't tell me you forgot. You're the one who said you wanted to go. It's gonna start without you. I'm so sorry. I'll be right there. Where are you now? I'm down in the hotel lobby. Okay, I'll be right there. Sorry, Alan. I'll make it up to you later. Ah, don't worry about it. Shall we go?
What's wrong? You're awfully quiet. Is something on your mind? Oh, uh, yeah. Something's been bothering me. Huh? Sounds like something's up. You know Dmitry Yuriev, right? The former parliament member? He's Junior's father, right? What about him? Well, the contact subcommittee is no longer in charge of the Zohar project. It's been transferred to the military and is now headed by Dmitry Yuriev. The development of the next generation key unit in this mock battle is also under his command. The military took over from the subcommittee? That sounds pretty fishy. Yes, I've heard a lot of ominous things about this next-gen unit. I've also heard the Cosmos project was cancelled due to pressure from the government. I have a feeling something bad is going on up there. Yuriev was a very charismatic member of the Federation Parliament, right? I heard he also had the ears of the military. So that's where the pressure came from. Still, what I did had some weight on what happened with Cosmos. Don't you think you're jumping to conclusions? I'd like to think that, but... You sound worried. You'll understand when you see it, Chief. This is the core of the Zohar Project, humanity's final defense against the Gnosis. That's some security. I'll need to thank the Director. It's a major project for the military-industrial complex. It's on a whole new scale now. Oh, someone's calling me. Oh, don't worry. We're already inside the facility. Then Chief Uzuki is with you? Yeah, she's right beside... Man, you go shoving work onto me, and now you're standing there grinning. I'm not grinning. I'm kidding. Don't take it so seriously. Anyway, just leave things over here to me. You two enjoy the show. Now, don't try to pull anything just because you're alone with her. Shut up! What are you talking about? <laughs> now you're laughing too! <laughs> Sorry, it's just none of you have changed at all. Now you're making fun of me too. I'm not, I'm not. Come on, let's go, Chief Ridgely. The public demonstration is about to begin. All related sections, please transfer security level to A.
public demonstration is about to begin. All related sections, please transfer security level to A. That's the exercise area? It's larger than I expected. It's almost like an army bombing range. Yes. They're promoting it as an activation test along with a mock battle that's very close to real combat, but... Togashi thinks it's a demonstration by the Salvatore faction. If funding gets approved, the military intends to start mass production of the new unit immediately. We will now begin the startup test and mock battle performance of the new model anti-gnosis humanoid fighting system. Now for this test, we will be using a mock battle form, limiting output to 36% of normal. That's... Cosmos? Are you surprised? She looks just like Cosmos. Development code TPXX, also known as Telos. The ultimate finished unit. A startling advancement in science, as they say. Telos. So, this is the source of your worries? Yeah. Well, that's half of it. She's one half of the new anti-gnosis weapon system that was brought in to replace Cosmos as the core of the Zohar project. Half? Wait a minute. I don't understand. You mean there's another one? Yes. This one's fine. The problem lies with the other one. Oh. Well, soon you'll understand. But don't be surprised if it shocks you when you see it. requisition them from Vector for this demonstration. Although, Chief, I believe that you would know more about that than me. Gnosis. Gnosis seized by Vector.
is incredible. According to the specs, both her reaction time and Hilbert's strength are three times Cosmos's combat frame. She's the Galaxy Federation's trump card. Who designed her? No one knows. Not even the staff were informed of where she actually comes from. If we could take apart the OS, we might be able to guess based on how the code's written. But the environment's proprietary, and we can't get anywhere close to it. Oh, that over there is Roth Mantell, the man in charge of the T-Weapon development. Did you find anything? I'm sorry, sir. Nothing besides the resume that's been provided. We've investigated his supporters as well, but it's completely clean. What about you? I've never seen him before, and I know the faces of everyone in my trade. Hmm. I can feel their waves from him. There. You mean the immigrant fleet? You can tell. Who do you think I am? My apologies. All members of the immigrant fleet have at least some affinity to the waves from the Zohar. It's no surprise you can feel that. What will you do then? We stick to the plan. If he is one of them, we'll merely use that to our advantage. And if he has no use to us, I'll dispose of him myself. Perhaps during the Mictum invasion that will begin soon. <laughs> I told you you'd understand when you saw it. They're calling it Omega, Res Novae. And none of us at Vector knows exactly where they got the designs for it. Stay calm, just stay calm. It just looks tough, there's nothing to it. All right, Cosmos, full power. Show no mercy and send it home packing. Acknowledged. I will respond with assault mode, referencing past combat data. Estimating 40 seconds to enemy contact. Maximum output. Pilot's condition looks good. Yes, nerve impulse values are numb. Everything looks fine. 
Can you hear me? You may hear some noises and see some light, but there's nothing to worry about. Just concentrate on the web patterns in front of you. You'll feel much better. Dr. Mizrahi. Does he understand us? I don't know. But I think it's more effective to say something than nothing at all. Is that like the prenatal education that was popular during the Lost Jerusalem era? Even if he can't understand the meaning, the nuance and the intent of the speaker might get across. It's just to ease the mind. Our minds. What's wrong? I don't know. The brainwave values are unstable. Pilot's mental state is abnormal. to the emulator. Hurry, if it keeps up, we'll lose control. How's the pilot? His brainwaves have stabilized. Recover Omega and force eject the cockpit. Get him out of there now. It's a pleasure to see you, Chief Ridgely. It's a shame about Cosmos.
Please, don't worry yourself. Who's your companion? Oh, she's one of Cosmos's designers. Shion... Ah, you must be Shion Uzuki. It's an honor to meet you. What is it? Is there something on my face? What? Special Advisor Roth Mantel, please report to the Telos Maintenance Room. Oh, excuse me. You seem quite busy. We're still in the middle of development, so there's much I have to see to. I hope we can speak more leisurely at some later time. Good day. with his attitude. Anyway, let's go. Yes. The exercise area will be temporarily closed to prepare for the retrieval of Omega Res Novae. All personnel involved should head to the basement hangar. Shion? Oh, Yuli. It's good to see you again. I don't think we've seen each other since the Gnosis terrorism. You look well. I didn't realize you were here too. Yes, the subcommittee is involved in the project as well. Of course, all I'm actually doing is measuring values and, uh, babysitting. I heard from your brother what happened. You've had a tough time. You've seen Jin? Yes, he's been doing jobs for me frequently. You haven't seen him lately? I heard the Durandal is in port. Jin should be with them. Oh, uh, it's just... Since that incident, we've been having a hard time talking with each other. I get it. I'm sure he's worried about you. You should at least say hello. I'll try. Hmm? What is it, Abel? Is this what you want? Here you go. A child? His name is Abel. My primary job is to facilitate smooth communication with him. I understand. But why? With a child so young? Because this young man is an invaluable member of the Zohar Project. He's involved with the Zohar Project? <gasps> this is Nephilim. How does he know what she looks like? of the performance program are now over. Supervisors for each weapon are requested in the conference room. Well, it looks like Telos's data feedback is done. Now I have to go entertain government officials. Honestly, I can't believe I'm spending time on something like that. <laughs> oh, Shion, why don't you go see your friends? What? But that's... 
The areas past Section 7 are Security Level B, but you shouldn't have any problem. After all, you were a major contributor to the Cosmos project. I'll contact security. Thank you. Use the transporter from the terminal up ahead. You should be able to get to Vector's research wing from there. The exercise area will be temporarily closed to prepare for the retrieval of Omega Res Novae. All personnel involved should head to the basement hangar. The exercise area will be temporarily closed. The exercise area will be temporarily closed to prepare for the retrieval of Omega Res Novae. All personnel involved should head to the basement hangar. The exercise area will be temporarily closed to prepare for the retrieval of Omega Res Novae. All personnel involved should head to the basement hangar. A VX 7000. It's because of the Gnosis terrorism. Since we don't know when or where they'll attack, the top brass is leaving nothing to chance. I see. Vector's participating too, so I guess it's only natural. Does it bring back memories? Well, yeah. All phases of the performance program are now over. Supervisors for each weapon are requested in the conference room. All phases of the performance program are now over. Supervisors for each weapon are requested in the conference room. All phases of the performance program are now over. Supervisors for each weapon are requested in the conference room. All phases of the performance program are now open. Supervisors for each weapon are requested in the conference room. Chief! Welcome back, Chief. I'm glad everyone is looking well. Too bad about what happened down there. Well, considering what she was fighting, I think she did a pretty good job. Yes, you're right. By the way, could you stop calling me Chief? I don't work here anymore. No matter where you go or what you become, you're still our dear Chief. Right, Chief Ridgely? Huh? Oh, uh, well, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Where's Cosmos? She got beat up pretty badly, so she's undergoing maintenance. 
Cosmos, you're still doing your best. But what am I doing? What would you think of me if you saw me now? Chief. Hmm? I guess you're concerned about Cosmos. Oh, it's not that. I... After seeing Cosmos and everyone, I just feel like you've all left me behind. That's all. Chief. I'm sorry, I think I'll be going. Thanks for everything today. Chief, um, tomorrow. Hmm? T tomorrow? Uh, would you like to go out for a bite in the city? I found this great restaurant the other day and... Sure. Sounds good. Yeah, I figured you'd be busy. And well, maybe next time. I said sure. Uh huh? What? R really? Yeah. When would be a good time? I'm free all day. Ah, um, okay. Let's meet in the hotel lobby at 7 p.m. I'll come get you. Okay, I'll be waiting. <laughs> Thank you. See you then. Good night. Excuse me. Is this the Cosmos maintenance room? It's smaller scale than I expected. Special Advisor Roth Mantell? Why are you here? Did you come to gloat to the losers? Calm down, Tagashi. I apologize. What can we do for you? Oh, that's quite all right. What he said isn't exactly wrong. Excuse me? I mean, I came here to finish off the losers. I need you to gather your things together at once. Wait a minute! What about Cosmos's repairs? There's no need. Cosmos will never awaken again. What are you talking? This will explain it. What? Decision to dispose of Cosmos? What the hell is this? It's exactly what it says. The subcommittee voted on the decision a short while ago. There is no need for us to waste our resources. So we're pouring it all into Telos's development. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid she's going to be scrapped. I can't believe it! How could they scrap Cosmos? All phases of the performance program are now open. Supervisors for each weapon are requested in the conference room. Program are now open.
sanitizers for each weapon are requested in the conference room. So, this is the footage from the T-Weapon demonstration? You've got guts recording secret government information right out in the open. I bet you could earn a pretty penny if you became a GNN reporter. Stop joking and take a look at it. Do you think you can extract any data from this footage? Not right away. I'll need some time. Please try. This T-Weapon and an unknown developer are the core of the government's project. I'm sure we can find all sorts of things once we start poking around. So, you think Vector is involved in this as well? But they cancelled Cosmos's development, right? Aren't they being a little roundabout? True, but the way Telos looks, I can't believe Vector isn't involved. Something we know nothing about is happening quickly. Alright, leave it to us. Also, there was something interesting in the data from the other day. Is it information about my father? No, we haven't found that yet. But we did find a keyword. Canaan. Canaan? You mean that Canaan? No, not the Realian. We think it's the name of some program or system used for observation or investigation. Canaan? We don't have the details on its objective, but one thing is clear. Vector has been using this Canaan for over 100 years to search something. Can you find out some more about it? We can, but it'll cost extra. What? You're going to charge for it? <laughs> Just kidding. It may have something to do with that realium, so it's on the house. Nephilim, what is it? Trying to protect someone does not always lead to happiness. What? Grimoire only wanted to find me. But that made a great many people suffer. With him gone, the Gnosis phenomenon should have stopped expanding. But it didn't. Shion, the Gnosis phenomenon happening now is not caused by Lemegeton. A certain being is leading this universe to destruction. Destroy the universe? Who would do that? A sad individual who continues to exist for his own atonement. He hopes for happiness of the one important to him, but that will bring suffering to many. Atonement? Important to him? Yes. For that person who is important to him. He feels it is acceptable to throw away this world. Xion, the only one who knows where we are headed, is Cosmos. The only one who can open Cosmos's heart is you. So please... Wait! Nephilim... 
Cosmos's heart. I knew I wouldn't be able to tell her. I know. The truth is too hard for Xion right now. If she let it pass without knowing, it would be so much easier. Learning the truth doesn't always lead to happiness. They might even be better off if they live without it. But sometimes, the truth seeks you out. I think the fact that Xion is here is telling us that. She must learn the truth. Maybe so, but it's only a matter of time before Xion's heart and body are... What if that's inevitable? My existence and yours may be an inevitable part of this world where all things flow to a certain point. If our reason for existing is that we are meant to exist... I don't think there's only a single future. A single human thought can change the world. You're the one who taught people that. What I can do is limited. I still don't even know how I should use this power. Why am I allowed to exist? Chaos. I want to believe in the existence of order born from discord. That's why I'm with them. There's nothing suspicious in the data concerning this man called Roth Mantell. I checked Vector as well to be sure, but there was no information on him at all. I'm sure Dimitri's done that as well, but why has he placed him at the core of the project now? Perhaps that's just how attractive the T-Weapon system is. It's also possible he wanted to eliminate Vector's influence. Yes, but I bet there's more to it than just that. I also have information regarding the Elsa. In order to break through that hypersphere, we will need output on the level of the phase transfer cannon equipped on Omega. That's not going to happen. We can't use it considering how unstable its systems are. And besides, Dimitri would never authorize it. Then breaking through that hypersphere is impossible with current Federation technology. You mean we'll have to give up on rescuing the Elsa? No. I just said it can't be done with Federation technology. According to my database, there is another weapon capable of breaking through it. Another weapon? Cosmos's tertiary weapon system. She is capable of the same output as an ES, so she may be able to break through. Cosmos is already slated for disposal, so it's just as unlikely as your first suggestion. Is your situational analysis capability defective? How are we supposed to equip her with her tertiary weapon system? And send her to that region of space? With all due respect, you are the one who was unable to analyze the situation, Dr. Mizrahi. That freighter infiltrated a region of space under martial law for an illegal expedition. Officially, it doesn't even exist. If you want to rescue something that doesn't exist, you'll have to take a certain amount of risk. You mean...? Yes. Cosmos has already been thrown out. That doesn't mean we can't reuse her. You certainly don't think small, do you? I was designed specifically for such objectives. What did you say? I said to abandon it. Did you not hear my words? Pardon my words, but Omega was originally ours. How can we abandon it? Your Eminence, please order its recovery. 
There is no need. Then please, tell me why. I did not understand our retreat at Ren le Chateau. And now this. Please, tell me your thoughts, your eminence. Omega has returned to its rightful master. And I have already taken measures to deal with the Zohar project. There is no need for you to interject, Chief Inquisitor. Its rightful master? Are you saying that it did not belong to us? That's the first I've heard of it. In fact, 15 years ago on Milsha, I... Know your place, Smargulus. Do you intend to let your desire overcome you and destroy your faith like Sergius? N no of course not, Your Eminence. My apologies. You sound tired, Margulis. Rest for a while. You are dismissed. Yes, Your Eminence. Margulis, everything is God's will. There is no need for concern. Do not question. Do as I say, and all will be well. All preparations are complete. Good. This spiral cobweb will capture her heart. And when it does, she will willingly wrap its threads around herself in order to find the truth. Why do humans insist on searching? The human mind holds limitless potential. If they continue to seek and search, they shall eventually become gods. That's probably what they believe. What we can do is limited. For precisely that reason, we need a world that is fitting for us. And we are the only ones who can accomplish that. Dreams, future, possibilities. She was born to put an end to these fleeting illusions. Everything follows the destined flow. How am I supposed to explain this to the Chief? There's no way I can tell her that Cosmos has been slated for disposal. It's dangerous to get lost in thought while walking. What? Oh, uh, committee member Mizrahi. Can I do something for you? Could I speak to you for a moment, Chief Ridgely? Sure. What is it? I want you to get in touch with Xion soon. Do you know her personal contact information? Sure, that's no problem. But what's going on? They've decided to dispose of Cosmos, correct? I need to speak to her about that. I'd like you to come along as well, of course. Oh, that's right. Of course you'd know about that. Actually, I was just trying to figure out how I'm gonna tell her about Cosmos. Relax. I won't let them dispose of Cosmos. That's what we're going to talk about. Huh? I watched that footage. It's certainly astonishing. So, did you find out anything? We did some research on Telos, but we found no relevant information in any database. Everything from its official project proposal to the budget is a complete blank. What about his supporters? Did he erase everything about him in order to preserve secrecy? No. No records ever existed in the first place. How is that possible? It's being used by the military. Beats me, but that's the truth. But you know, if he's clean on the surface, he's probably dirty as hell deep down. Hey. Is it possible to transfer Cosmos directly through the UMN? No. All advanced AI devices, including Cosmos, need a UMN tube for transport. Basically, they have to go through the hyperspace or it will damage their functions.
In other words, some sort of ship is necessary when moving one. Why do you ask? Well, about a week ago, a Dominic transport ship affiliated with the Hyams Company docked at 5th Jerusalem's 47th port. When I checked its cargo records, I found something interesting. At the time of docking, the port's mass detectors recorded a total mass of 3,751 tons. But at the time it left port, it was 3,750.79 tons. The Dominic has a regular crew of three. This weight difference wasn't caused by people. In other words, these records show that something must have been taken off the ship. Normally, any cargo unloaded into the container terminal even if it's a government secret, has some sort of record registered. But this time... There was no record. Right. What's the mass of the bare minimum equipment required to maintain Cosmos? Hmm, it depends on the type of frame she's using, but probably around 200 kilograms. Oh. That may be the missing piece, assuming it wasn't constructed on 5th Jerusalem. Then Ormus is involved in Telos's development? But why would they do that? Who knows, but it's disturbingly obvious. They may be deliberately drawing attention to it to cover up something else. What's up? Hey, you guys already started! You could have invited me, you know. You haven't missed a thing. By the way, have you already taken care of what I asked for? You betcha. Xion, we've pretty much finished researching your father. There are some things in life one is better off not knowing. Do you still want to know? Yes, I have to know the truth. This record is in regards to the UTIC organization 15 years ago. The Federal Advanced Technology Special Inspection Bureau. That's the name of the government office that was observing UTIC at the time. Yes, and... The person who was appointed to Milsha as a Federation government's inspector was... Uh... I was right, wasn't I? Yes. It's just like you said. Dad was the UTIC organization inspector. He must have had some kind of contact with Professor Mizrahi. Shion. But that doesn't mean he conspired with Professor Mizrahi and summoned the Gnosis. Th this sort of thing happens all the time, you know? An incompetent government bureaucrat fails to stop a crisis and it turns into a catastrophe. What? What kind of example is that? It, uh... I mean... It's okay, don't worry about it. Even if he was just an incompetent bureaucrat like you said, he's still guilty of standing by and letting something like that happen. Ugh. <sighs> 
I finally know why Jin doesn't like the idea of me getting involved as well. I feel better now that I don't have to wonder anymore. Xi'an. That's right. I suspected it all along. That's why I... Oh, it's from Alan. I'll take it over here. Xi'an! Xi'an! Hello. Huh? Chief, what's wrong? Xi'an! Chief, are you alright? Chief! Are you all right, Chief? You scared me. You collapsed right as the connection went through. You came to check on me? Well, I was the closest. I see. Of course, even if we were a million light years apart, I'd still be here in a flash. <laughs> Want something to drink? I had an MC here a few minutes ago, but he said it was probably overexertion. Have you been pushing yourself lately? Yeah, I'm sorry for worrying you. Wait, you need to stay in bed. I'm fine now. A lot happened today, I'm sure that's the reason. Chief, I, uh, have a message for you from committee member Mizrahi. From Yuli? Yes, she says she wants to talk to you, so she'd like to meet with you on the Durandal tomorrow. But if you're not feeling well, I'll ask her to postpone it. You worry too much. I'm fine now. Oh, but tomorrow we were... Ah, it's okay. Talking with member Mizrahi is much more important. Don't worry about canceling our plan. We don't have time to be going out to eat dinner. Alan, let's go out for a bit. What? Sure, if you like, that's fine with me.